Hello everyone. In this lecture, we talk about probability with geometry part C. We've discussed this idea in part B. Now let's see some part C questions. The first question comes from 2018 problem 22. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So the question is, what's the following number is closest to the probability that x, y, 1 are the side lengths of an obtuse triangle? An obtuse triangle. So we know um, x, y, 1 will be largest because x, y both smaller than or equal to 1. So 1 will be the largest and we're going to have x plus y will be greater than 1. This is the condition of a triangle. And secondly, because it's an obtuse triangle, we're going to have x squared plus y squared smaller than 1. So this is like a Pythagorean. When we have a right triangle, we're going to have x squared plus y squared equal to 1. But for an obtuse triangle, we're going to have x squared plus y squared smaller than 1 squared. Okay, this is second condition many people may not realize. Okay, so now we have two conditions. So first, x plus y greater than 1. This is the same as y greater than 1 minus x. So let's draw 1 minus x. This is 1 minus x. And the y greater than, so it's the upper area. And secondly, x squared plus y squared smaller than 1. You know, x squared plus y squared equal to 1 squared. This is a circle with radians 1. And the smaller than 1 means the inner part. So combine these two conditions together, it's actually the shaded region. So the shaded region, it's a 1 4 circle, so pi times r squared divided by 4 minus the triangle. So it's going to be pi over 4 minus 0 0.5. And we know pi is about 3.14. So this will give us 0 0.78 minus 0 0.5. This will give us 0 0.28. So 0 0.28 will be the closest. Okay, the next one comes from 2019 problem 22. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So a fair coin is flipped if the land head is half chance and then flip again and the chosen number is zero. If the second flip is head, so it's head, you will get zero. If tail, it's one. So this is another half chance, half chance. So in total, it's going to be one fourth chance to get zero and one. And another half chance uh, it will choose them between 0 and 1. So let's consider if the first scenario we got 0, and if x minus y greater than half, that means y can only be, so if first one is 1 fourth, and the y can only be, first y can only be 1. And then if y is chosen from this scenario, y can be chosen between half and one, so it's half chance. This case will give us, uh, this is one fourth. This case, the probability is one eighth. And for the second scenario, it's the same. So if you consider, it's gonna be the same, another one out of eight. And the lastly, let's consider if x is between zero and one. So this is x. And how about y? And we know if x between 0 and 1, y can either be 0, uh, because if x is smaller, smaller than half, y should be 1. And, f, and if x is greater than 1, y should be 0. So it's only 1 fourth chance. So it's half times 1 fourth of, from choosing from head. And then if it's um, half, times y also chosen from 0 and 1. So let's consider this scenario. This scenario we have learned before, x and y can choose them between 0 and 1. 
but they have to meet x minus y greater than half or x minus y smaller than negative half. The first one is the same as if you move y over y smaller than x minus half. So let's draw negative 1 over 2, y equal to x, and the smaller, so it's this part. And the, the second scenario is y greater than x plus half. So let's draw x plus half and the greater than. So the shaded area is actually what can what we can pick. The total shaded area is one fourth. So this is one fourth chance of this scenario. And this one in total we get um, this will be one fourth plus one eighth. It's gonna be three eighths times half. This we get three out of sixteen. And if we add all those three together, it will be our answer. So let's do this. This is 1 fourth, um, 4 out of 16 plus 3 16. The answer is 7 16. Okay, let's see the last one. This is problem 25 from year 2015. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So here are two points. So let's first consider point if point X is chosen. So let's consider point Y. So point Y, uh, first, it's one fourth chance locate on the opposite. This is always greater than half. And then let's consider if Y is chosen on the adjacent side. So here or here, this is half chance adjacent side. And then we're gonna have uh, the distance is at least half. Then we're gonna have x squared plus y squared greater than um, at least half, greater than half square. This is actually a circle with radius half and uh, greater than. So it's actually a greater than outside. So this part, the probability will be 1 minus pi times radius square divided by 4. It's a 1 4 circle. So this is 1 minus pi over 16. And we know this is half chance. So half times 1 minus pi times pi over 16. This is adjacent. And lastly, let's consider if x, y on same side. This is another 1 4 chance. In this case, we need x minus y absolute value at least half. So greater than half. This is the same as something we already just did. So let's do it again. This is equal to x minus y greater than half or x minus y smaller than negative half. So the first scenario, this will change into y smaller than x minus half. Second one is equal to y greater than x plus half. So let's draw an x, y coordinate is 1 1 and uh, x greater y greater than x plus half is this part y smaller than negative half so it's gonna be like this okay so we can see this scenario the probability is actually one fourth so times one fourth this will be our final answer so let's finish the calculation here one fourth plus half plus 116 minus pi over 32. So it's changing to 32. This is 8, 16, 2. So the total is 26 minus 1 pi. So here, 26, 1, 32. So the answer is going to be 15, 9. Okay. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next lecture.